hello welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm sephora moses and if you're just joining us you're welcome to real talk with sephora today we are exploring how to be likable how to be likable we are discussing likability today do you want to be liked by everyone to be well liked or are you struggling with people liking you do you have difficulties in finding a group of importance in people's life if that is you then you might want to keep watching because today we're going to explore all the reasons and how the ability or the habits to make people to like you to be well liked so if you're ready i can be ready let's dive right into it we like people who like us show people that you like them the best way to get people to like you is to be affectionate show people that you like them it's human nature let me put it this way you see humans are funny that way if you show them that you like them in return they will show you that they like you more you see the moment we realize that someone likes us we instantly like them more because we then know that there is no risk in liking them the risk of rejection we humans were afraid of rejection but if the risk is is being broken if the risk is no longer there we are no longer afraid of rejection then we can like you because you show us that you like us first does it make sense yes it does <laughs> so we like people who like us i hope that makes sense <laughs> okay let's move on number two likable people add value if you want to be likable be of service to people offer value to people serve people be supportive to others cultivate the mindset of helping others people like it when you help them look for ways to enrich people look for ways to be of value to people to be of service to people people will like it you see common courtesy and little acts of kindness can go a long way it's almost impossible not to like someone who add value to your life who is kind to you who is affectionate to you who is so good to you it's almost impossible not to like such a person so add value to people add value to people likable people add value the next one <laughs> number three make people feel good make people feel good about themselves according to the law of nature we like people who reward us be warm to people be kind to people be generous to people if you want people to like you let people talk about themselves to you people like talking about themselves make people feel good about themselves give them the opportunity to express themselves to talk about themselves they will appreciate you for it make people feel welcome make them feel understood make people feel appreciated make people feel welcome in your company if you give people the opportunity to express themselves, to talk about themselves in your company. They will appreciate you for it. They will love you for it. Be genuine and stay true to yourself. Likeable people have this in common. They don't pretend to be who they are not. Don't be fake. Admit it. Whenever you don't like something or you like something, admit it. Speak your mind. Be truthful. Likeable people are authentic people be real nobody wants to be around someone who is fake be true to yourself uh, admit it uh, when you agree with something or disagree with something speak your mind but speak it without belittling anyone without um, gaslighting anyone without demeaning anyone just be true to yourself or do it respectfully likable people are genuine people likable people are true to themselves 
the next one. Use their name. As they say, words have meaning and names have power. Or no. People like it when you call them by name. When someone tells you their name, memorize it. Uh, repeat it. When someone tells you their name, memorize it. Repeat it harmoniously in their hearings. Let them hear it from your mouth. Let them hear it beautifully. Don't be sarcastic about calling people's name. People don't like that. You can't be sarcastic with people's name. You can't address people with um, un unwarranted titles. People like it when you call them by their names. Harmoniously, not anyhow. Harmoniously, call them by their names. This is simple but very powerful. People like it when you mention their name, when you address them by their name. Call people by their name. Praise them by their names. Let's move on. Look for common grounds. Look for shared interest. It can be helpful to look for shared interest as an opportunity to relate to people. Do you both have a friend in common? Do you have an interest? Um, perhaps uh, any hobby, perhaps a uh, photography, movies, sports, music, um, anything in common. People like it when you have something and interest in common. Look for shared interest. They will like you for it. It's a way of relating and bonding with somebody. Common interest. Likeable people don't judge. The simplification of this is that if you're judgmental, people hide their true selves around you. They don't feel the need to confide in you, to tell you things, to be themselves around you because they know that you're going to judge them anyway. They know that whatever they are going to say or do around you, you're going to pick out, to nitpick all the negativity out of it. And people don't like that. Don't be judgmental. If you want people to like you, don't be judgmental. Don't judge people. Do not constantly jump into premature conclusion. Let people have the chance to express themselves, to be themselves around you. Perhaps whatsoever they are doing, you're judging it. You need to pick everything to make negativity out of all circumstances. They will not love to be around you like that. And they will not like you like that. People like it when they have the freedom to be themselves around you without you being judgmental at everything that they say to you, everything that they do. You can't always be judging people like that. People don't like it. They want to know that they have the freedom to be themselves around you. Don't be judgmental if you want people to like you. Do not judge. Okay, I lost count. I don't know which number we are. Uh, next, be generous. Let me say that again because I just like it. I love generosity. Be generous. Adapt the giving mindset. The mindset to give freely. Give of your time, your attention, your opinion. Maybe something that will be of value to people. Validation, support. Cultivate the mindset of giving. People will respond to you with appreciation and loyalty. People love it when you give to them. Remember the last time someone gave you something? Remember the last time someone did something uh, did something for you freely without uh, asking for anything in return? Remember the last time you wanted something so badly and someone just came out of the blue and gave it to you? Or oh, someone kind enough, someone kind enough to be generous to you, to give you freely. Remember how you fed? You fed good because it is a good thing to give and to receive. It is a blessing for the giver to give and it is a blessing for the receiver to receive and be grateful. You see, be generous. People will like you. Likeability. People who are likable are givers. People who are likable, they are generous people. Just take note. 
start to follow the signs. Follow the signs of givers. How do you feel when you receive? And how do you feel when you give? Be generous. People like givers. Give. Be generous to people. <laughs> Let's move. Stay positive. We normally do not gravitate towards uh, someone who is so negative, who is always feeling the need to constantly air their grievances. Positivity is always more attractive. So even when uh, those little annoyances get under your skin, remember to be positive. You will be surprised how much impact this little positivity will bring to your reputation and make you a likable figure. Be positive. People like positivity. I like positivity. I am positive. <laughs> okay, moving on. Poke fun. Smile. <laughs> Show your smile. <laughs> this will bring people to like you. Poke a smile. Try to be uh, positive. Uh, be conscious of your facial expression. When situation warrants it, be positive. This will instantly make you seem warmer, uh, approachable, and likable. Do not steal the spotlight. Let me explain this. Likable people don't need to be center of attention at all times. Likable people are not consumed with getting attention at all times. This will rob you the opportunity of be, being of service to other people. Likeable people shift the focus from them to the people next to them. The more you shift the focus from you, the more you become likeable. It's a mystery, but it works like a miracle. Likeable people are not the center of attention. Do not let what you see on social media fool you. The spotlight, the people that people truly, truly love and crave to see are the people who are not crazed about the spotlight. These are people that people like. If you want to be likable, do not always force yourself to be the center of attention. Do not always hold on so tight to be the light of the party, the light of, you know, they call it the light of the party, but in reality, this does not make people to like you. Likeable people are not attention seekers. They are not um, craving to be center of attention. They shift the attention to the person next to them. This will make you more likable. Believe me. <laughs> okay, last but not the least. Last, last, last but not the least. I love this. I truly do. This one, like yourself. One of the biggest challenges that we face when it comes to likability, that challenge is from within. It's hard for people to like you if you don't like yourself. It's hard for people to like us if we don't like ourselves first. You must first like yourself if you want people to like you. If you're struggling with low self-esteem or if you're struggling with believing in yourself, maybe that is where you should start from. Take the first step, walk from yourself from within. Like yourself and people will like you. Like yourself and people will like you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> like yourself. Okay, guys, you know we're here to, to share, to learn, and what is there not to like, what is there not to love, what is there not to admire, and what is there not to want. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>